Okay, factorizing algebraic expressions. It's not as complicated as it sounds. What it means is putting things back into brackets. We've seen how we take things out of brackets by expanding them. Now we're going to factorize and put them back into brackets. So, suppose we're asked to factorize 8a minus 2m. We need to look closely at this expression and look for common factors in both the terms. So if we look at 8a, that's really 2 times 4 times a. And minus 2m is minus 2 times m. So we need to look for a common factor in both terms. We need to look for things that are the same in both. So we can see that the 2 is the same. So what we do is we put 2 at the front of the brackets, and inside the brackets is what's left behind in both terms. So we have 2 at the front and 4a minus m inside the brackets. And so we've factorized that expression by taking out a common factor. Okay, here we're asked to factorize negative 2a squared minus 4ab. So negative 2a squared is really negative 2 times a times a, and negative 4ab is negative 2 times 2 times a times b. So What's the same in both terms? Where are the common factors? Well, there's an a in both terms, and there's also a negative 2. So what we'll do is we'll take negative 2a at the front of the brackets, and then inside the brackets is what's left behind after we've divided out those factors. So from the first term, there's just an a left behind, and in the second term, there's positive 2b. Notice that we took out the negative 2, and so we've left behind a positive sign. So we've factorised that expression by taking out the common factor, which was negative 2a. OK, binomial factors. They look kind of scary, but they're really not that different. Binomial factors are factors that have two parts to them, like a bicycle has two wheels. So here the binomial factors are x plus 3, because you can see that x plus 3 is in both terms. So what we do is we identify x plus 3 as the common factor. So x plus 3 goes out the front of the brackets, and then in the second lot of brackets is the 5 and the x, what's left behind after we take out x plus 3 from both terms. So an expression with binomial factors ends up in two brackets. The first brackets are the binomial factors, the second brackets is what's left behind after we've taken out that binomial factor. OK, now go to page 201 and try question 5 left hand side, question 6 left hand side, question 8 left hand side and question 9 left hand side. 